How's it going, everybody? All right. Hey, <laughs> what's going on? So I'm sorry I'm back a little bit. Um, we've always got a big, bright blue sky behind me. Uh, I am going to be running FT8, so uh, I am on 20 meters right now. We're going to try that out for a second, but um, we may have to move because we got Jason. Jason is doing uh, KA6 LMS stroke five right now. So if you're waiting to get uh, any KA6 LMS, just get on FT8 right now between Jason and I, and I think there's actually a couple other people that are running. You should be good. But I'll give you a quick little shot of where I'm at. We'll be talking about this in the live stream tonight. I am right here. Ooh, here's me, hey, how's it going? Uh, I am in uh, Ramona County, San Diego. I am running my 705 with a uh, XPA125 amp, so I've got about 100 watts output, and I'm running into a Chameleon Delta Loop antenna. You can see I've got plenty of space all around me. Sorry for the wind noise. Lots of wind. To be expected, um, it was perfectly clear as I was getting started, and then uh, it started getting windy. <laughs> So let's let's dive right into it. Let's see if I can make this happen. Don't need grid tracker. You can see there's lots of activity right now. Uh, it looks like that's relatively clear. I'm gonna call CQ. Oh, we get a bit of SWR. I'll sort that out right now. I got it, but it's now it's fussy. Oh, come on. We may have to restart the whole thing. I don't know why WSJTX gets like that. It's with only with the 705 um, when we're running wirelessly. It seems to just freak out. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to me here. Actually, it'll give you a bit of a background so you're not bored with my overwashed uh, look that I've got going on. Yeah, doing it live as best we can. <laughs> and that delta loop is literally just spiked in the ground, <laughs> and the wind's blowing it pretty hard. The second, the second that I want to go live, the wind kicks up. It was chill since last night. Oh, and we got, and I'm getting some drop frames. Sorry about that. Let's get you over there. do it without having to restart the computer. Now I, I am running uh, two laptops to make this all work, which is always a lot of fun. Uh, mic screen. No, I, I had one. This is kind of an odd mic. Let's see if this helps. Does that help at all? Does that help? A little bit? A little bit? Okay, we're back on. 15 still clear. Here we go.
face mask as a mic screen. That's kind of what I'm using right now, I'm using a buff. There are some other contests going on too. Yes, there is a contest going on. So this is not a contest. The um, the KA6 LMS is a ham radio event. It's just a fun event. All right, here we go. meter FT8. Yes, I am not in Cerritos. <laughs> All right, first contact. And let's make sure we're getting in the log. There we go. All right, first one in. No, I'm in Ramona, California, county outside of San Diego. Okay, I can turn this off for now. We'll come back to Bluetooth. So I do really like this when I'm out in the field. Keep the fun going here. Pat asks, Josh, will you be working other modes or just FT8? No, I will be working other modes. I just figured we'd uh, kick things off with FT8 because it's kind of hard for me to not fall over and make FT8 contacts even when I'm in the field or wherever I'm at. So. You can see we got quite a lot of activity. Couple people. Looks like wait, did no? I'm on 20 meters, 20 meters, which you can see on my screen. AE5FY, you're making it pretty easily. And again, we're typing it all through that delta loop behind me. Putting out about 80 watts, that delta loop. Uh, ooh, what elevation am I at? I can look that up. Hold on. AE5FY, try again later. You're, you're not making it there, buddy. Go to N zero BC. I'm at eighteen hundred feet. So says the seven oh five.
not liking that, so that's fun. We're, we're making this all work live as normal, right? Let's see if we're actually making it out. Complaining, is it hot? We got one contact and started complaining, so we may have to go to the single side now. Decent little mountain next to a golf course I used to play. There are lots of big boulders for me and your child. Yeah. That is. Wow. Okay, cool. You got another one in there? It seems to be complaining about high SWR, but it looks fine for me. And it's still functioning. Looks like it's still putting it out. So we'll 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 play around here for a little bit. It sounds pretty gusty, how bad are the wind? The winds were, there was no winds, <laughs> there was no winds until right before I started going live. I apologize. It's like it'll run, it'll run through most of the 15 seconds of contact, it'll be perfectly low and then it'll start complaining that there's a burst, but there's no, um, the SWR is not coming up at all. It looks fine on both sides. Uh, so Bill KC3RAA says, on my 7300, should it say USB-D or USB when on force? Uh, by the way, it's 74, 14.074. Not hearing anything on either except a high pitch. I think, yeah, so you need to be in USB D, but you need to be running the software that can appropriately decode. Yes, it's all digital, if you're on the 7300 bill. Interesting. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to back off the power a little bit. Okay. Ben, just ask him for a can opener. Right there. So interesting. Maybe this is not the right type of amp to run digital with. Let's see what... Um, Not great. <laughs> I'm guessing we're doing better than that, though. All right, let's uh, let's can it with the. Uh... Let's 
Let's go do some uh, single sideband. I've got a couple of people that are in the positive to me though, so I'm gonna try and hit them really quick and not blow this amp up. Is it just getting, is it hot? No, we got plenty of power too. Uh, my QTH is somewhere in Ramona County, uh, Southern California by San Diego. N4 VPI, I'm trying to hit you. You're a positive nine to me. Maybe we're just we're just pushing the limit of this. Uh... Hey, Dad, Leia's looking for a can opener. Okay. Okay, the wind died down, so hopefully this is much better for y'all. Looks pretty. Let's see. Okay, let's let's do this. I'm gonna stop this for a second. I'm actually gonna close WSJTX. It doesn't complain. We're gonna move this to Ritty. I'm gonna key up. Ah, it does. It does complain. I'm facing, well, it's it's a delta loop, so it's, so I think if it works like other loops, the broadside, uh, it, it comes out of the broadside, and that's facing east and west, so I should be facing east-west. I am running 75 watts, but that could be, no, you know what, I think I've got it backwards. I think loops radiate from the, the sides. So let me let me rotate this. Auto rotation, yeah. Armstrong rotation. It's a delta loop made by chameleon antennas. All right, let's let's play around a little bit with WCTX, and then we're we're gonna give up and we're gonna go do a single sideband because I think we're we're probably just uh, taxing the taxing the the uh, amp a little bit too much. Apparently, people are hearing me though. Got somebody calling. Oh, it's already complaining about the SWR.
Oh yeah, it's it's freaking out the the stream. <laughs> oh, you got a couple of contacts on that. Let's make sure I've got everything squared here. Yeah, that might do it. <laughs> Sorry about the wind. It happens. That's what uh, X, you know, running out and uh, out in the field is like. Sometimes it's real clear, and sometimes it's a uh, pain. Okay, that worked perfectly. That worked perfectly. Yeah, there are so many spots on uh, on WSJ uh, GTX right now. Uh, Grimace asks, "Why aren't you running WS GTX two three zero? I'll update it after um, the live stream. It, it took a lot just to get this up and running, and I am running off of my Toughbook." which is my portable computer. Yeah, I've got a lot of computers. I got a lot of computers that I play around with and it took a lot just getting this all working this morning. does it all mean? Yeah, I'm, uh, I got a couple of people that seem like they're hearing me. They're acting like they're hearing me. <coughs> that KG4NDS, I hear you. Uh, how, how am I? Okay, there's a lot going on right now. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I'm not doing Wi-Fi. I am uh, using my cell phone to tether to do the live stream. It's live streaming through my MacBook Pro, connected via HDMI to my Toughbook, which is the screen you see right here. Okay, um, I'm on FTA 20 meters, everybody. Okay, that's the problem. The problem is the power. This is all good info. Proximity. I think it is. I'm going to do one thing and then I'm going to give up and we're going to go do single sideband because I know I won't have a problem with single sideband. I thought you guys might like to see some of the sausage making. So this is not the live stream for, the, for today. We'll still be live at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I have a zero noise floor where I'm at, which makes it really nice to hear lots of stations. We're doing some live. We're doing some live ham radio stuff. <laughs> I'd like to get the, so, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll level with you. Um, so, got up in the morning, actually last night started working on this. Got the computer aspect of it going, made a couple contacts on, on um, FT8 to test it out. 
but it's it's nothing like when you're like rolling with something that you realize like the problems that you have. And so we're rolling, and that's what happens. We discover problems. So everybody that's trying to make a contact, hang on. I gotta I have an idea. I have a thought. Like all things, it involves toroids. <laughs> so let's try and throw this on the, the feed line. I'm still here. Almost right. One last step. Okay, definitely high power. Now let's drop that down. That's about as good as it's going to get. So thank you all for working with me there. Watching me do the work. <laughs> I'm on an amp, baby. That's right. Maybe I can go without the windscreen for a little bit. Woo, there are some signals out here. Okay, I'm putting out 65 watts. I think we've got a balance point. Although it keeps losing the uh, the HDMI on the screen, which is pretty funny. I'm in a great location for ham radio. Okay. This is about this is about as best 
This is about as good as I can get it, I think. It's not peaking power, it's not crashing. We should be good. Now we just gotta wait for those sweet, sweet contacts to roll in. Ah, oh, we got it! We got it! Okay, so good, 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 good. All right, N zero E Z. See, we stuck it. We stuck with it. We got it. Okay, so now we got it tuned. We got it dialed in. So let's make a couple more contacts, and then I promise we'll do single sideband. I'm gonna go for more than an hour because we're just playing. We're just having fun. Yeah, Leia really does um, pull some really cool stuff out. Did we get it? We got it. I would like to point out that Evan, you were like the second contact. I've been in the glamping tent. You've been in the glamping tent? Yeah. You know how you said you want to be on video? You can be on video right now if you'd like. That's Ben. Say hi, Ben. Hi. Oh, we got a positive. We got a positive twelve coming in. How's your, uh, how's your kung fu? It was okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be lectured again. You don't know what? If I'm gonna be lectured again. <laughs> We don't want to be lectured again. Oh, you're your VE7 VZ. You're coming in. Oh no, it's complaining again. There's just the heat. It could just be heating up. Hey, Richard Teach, thank you very much for the uh, for joining us on the Amory Crash Course. Okay, we got a plus four. It is complaining again. So I'm feeding it 1.5 watts from the exciter, which is the 705. Got a seven three. Yeah, buddy. Which feeding you chosen? Wine, wine, wine and Wolmerans. Uh, rephrase that question. I'll try and answer it. Yeah, let me just show off again uh, so you guys can. <laughs> Why is it? It should be wider than that, though. Set this a bit.
Hey! The kids are losing their mind in my dad's uh, camper. Yeah, we've got a couple of antennas actually we can we can play with. Daddy. What percentage of FT8 versus FT4 do you like? I almost entirely use FT8. Daddy. What? Evan, what? Pop Pop can tell him to stop and kick him out. Kick him out. Well, we can do that too. Okay. Why don't we do that? So. Oh, Philip, thank you. So you guys can watch me do another fun thing. Um, I'm going to rotate the delta loop out of the way. I'm going to put the dipole back up on 20 meters. Let's see what that does. Edison? No, not nice. AA0FD is calling. Fantastic. Rock solid. Let's see how this one goes. I'm still on 20 meter FT8. There we go. So dipole V uh, delta loop. The delta loop is, it's kind of got a wide tuning space, uh, roughly three to one SWR on most bands. So you got to hit it with a broadband uh, tuner. Sorry, but we'll never give you a treat, 
I don't know what they're doing. He's got a window open on the, the camper, and he's uh, talking through like he's running a... All right. Okay, so maybe the del or the um, dipole is going to be more effective. And the dipole... Oh, but see, I've got less signals. Ah. So look at the difference. The delta loop, way bigger receive. You see that? The, the wider band there on the bottom was when, before I was using my delta loop. California of him. Yep, everybody's here. Leia's here too. Um, did I pack my end? Technically, I could run the, um, M I did bring the M-Pass, uh, the M-Pass 5.0. KB9VK, I'll try to make contact with you here. Fidget Man, what's your call? Okay, we got two people that are trying to make contact, so hang, hang tight. Jack Burroughs, can somebody explain to a total newbie, what is this, packet radio? Um, so if you if you understand what packet radio is, kind of. Uh, it's using a 15-second transmit-receive cycle to send out digital information, which the two stations hear, and they respond in kind with the appropriate information for the handshake. So... Um, basically, all this mode is is for exchanging signal, strength, and reception, that, that you're hearing the person call sign, location, that kind of stuff. We use it a lot for making fast contacts, really long distance contacts, because it works way down into the noise floor. Okay, so we're about an hour in, actually a little less than an hour, but that's okay. We will... Uh, W9GOO, um, I got the plus three from you, not bad, with my little dipole out here. Hey dad, I think Leia said lunch is ready. Oh, okay. Guys, go get lunch. Go get lunch, get out of here. Go eat guys, go. I don't know. He runs around without his shoes on in the middle of dirt. He's a dirt baby. Yeah, my signals, my my signals on the dipole are greatly reduced. So it would be really cool. Sorry, I'm trying to wrap up this contact, but he's not he's not closing it out with me. It would be really cool if I could have like diversity receive because that del that delta loop is insanely strong. In fact, I'm out here doing a video and, and I'm going to include that in the video for it. It's it's really good at receiving.
Somebody is jumping the gun on me. A couple of people are jumping the gun on the on the uh, contacts. They'll send, they'll they'll reply back with like uh, my signal report before the the first handshake. FT8 is always upper sideband. All right, there we go. KC3 NYT, we got gotcha. you. be live streaming twice today what's nice is I'm on uh, I've got some messages here for other people that are operating um, different stations for the special event so when we do when we switch over to single sideband I'll hop around a little bit and we'll see if, if I can hear them maybe put it back on that Delta loop Steve, K question mark, five question mark, question mark, question mark. Past tech in general this morning, ready to play radio. Congratulations, buddy, that's awesome. built in and um, so it gives you a little versatility. KQ4 KK gotcha in the log it looks like or we will. Which amp? There's, uh, the Shegu? Yeah, the X5125B. I did end up having to go with a interface uh, device, which we're actually going to be talking about on the live stream today. So that will be the topic is kind of like what I dragged out. Well, KQ4KK, I have you at a negative eight. Just trying to wrap up in case you can you can hear me. Nature's Child, Ramona, California. That's where I'm at. Can the FT891 hook up to a PC program to use the Waterfall PC program to be able to see HF bands like that? I have an 891 coming in the mail late next month. Yes, it can. You will need to likely pick up, I believe it is called an SU17 audio interface. Once you have that, it's like a remote sound card, and that remote sound card will allow you to get the audio control. Right out of the box, the 891 will do cat control over USB. You will need a second interface for your audio. So Wild Cascadia Radio, I've, I've, since you're in the chat and you're watching, you 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 used to run like anime anime, right? So are you you're doing videos now? You um, people should check out your channel. Is that is that kind of what you're you're telling me? Okay, I got a bit of a pile up, so I want to kind of work through. Um, I want to kind of work through some of these. What's the event? Somebody asked. Well. The event is the Last Man Standing radio, special radio event, KA6LMS. There are a ton of stations. I'm operating as uh, slash six, KA6LMS slash six, because I'm in six land, I'm in California. But there are bonus stations, K6L, K6M, K6S, right, LMS, LMS for the K pre prefix and the W prefix. There are a ton of things going on, multiple people operating. 
a lot of people doing voice and the pileups have been intense. I'm almost a little apprehensive to dive in and start uh, playing. And this is my station. I've got two antennas I've set up. Okay, cool. So yeah, go check out Wild Cascadia Radio. Sounds like uh, they're making videos. I would, I would hop off of here, but I've got a bunch of really good signals coming in, so I don't want to just bail on people. Don't run, don't run. You're gonna trip over the tent again. Oh, Cascadia Radio, got the inner word shirt. Thank you very much. Uh, we're on Ham Tactical, that's the merch store, which my wife runs, and largely we do we do merch ideas that come through the podcast that we run. My wife and I are on a podcast together, and we like just funny ham radio shirts, and we she makes them. She really designs them. I'm just there to zhuzh them, zhuzh them up a little bit sometimes. I guess it's 1 o'clock here. I should probably crack open a beer. These aren't really cold though. Weekend Vibes IPA, anybody? I got them Weekend Vibes right now. My dog's got Weekend Vibes. She's chilling right, right underneath my feet. That's vibe-tastic. I bet Although my noise did come up. That's probably what's happened exactly. The loop is probably a lot better for receiving, uh, it being a loop. The dipole, though, is a bit noisier. But I gotta tell you, it's, it's working really well. We're plowing through contacts now. When I did the activation in the studio for Last Man Standing, I clocked in, I think, 120, 21 contacts on FT8. The reason why I went with FT8 is although I'm confident in it, um, the noise level at the studio is like S8, S9 at all times. Yeah, I think I got spotted, so I'm, I'm getting a ton of people coming in. I have, uh, I've like taken over <laughs> one complete side of the campsite. Well, thank you. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Is there a, oh, I got it. I'm good. Thanks. I, Leia brought me food. In fact, I'll, let me show you what we're working with right now. Tacos. How are you full? Wow. Okay, good. Contacts are still rolling. I got some fresh cojita cheese on there. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that's fantastic. Uh, Anthony Gorel asked, what are you washing it down with? 
some Weekend Vibes IPA. This is from oh, Coronado. Coronado's not too far from here, San Diego. Yeah, we'll go chase down Amanda in a little bit. It sounds like she's moved a couple of times. She was on 20. Okay, I'm 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 pretty happy with this amp to be honest. You didn't come to watch me eat, though, so I'll keep that to a minimum. <laughs> Gaming for life. Won't you get demonetized if you are monetized for showing telling about other brands? These are corn tortillas, so they're soft corn tortillas. Some people are calling out and they're making it to me, but they're not hearing me. I'm at 12 volts on my lithium ion battery. I'm using a nine amp hour running the amp, which is drawing, I think it, I'll tell you on the next cycle, which we'll also talk about in the live stream. Actually, I'll save that. I'll tell you on the live stream. You've got to come back at uh, come back in. Looks like about three or four hours. Okay, K4VXD, if you're calling, keep calling. I don't know, that last station jumped in. I thought they had a fast call. We were going back and forth, and I don't, I guess they didn't, they couldn't hear me, so I couldn't complete it. So I'm coming back to you, buddy. K4VXD, if you're still out there. Oh, okay. It's starting to die down a little bit, which is good. That means we can go hop onto a uh, single sideband. Got it. Thanks for hanging on there, buddy. Right? Are you still there? No, we didn't. What happened? Now I'm bouncing back and forth between two calls because I'm not getting contacts with them. I do that occasionally in FT8. It always bums me out when, like, I hear somebody, they reply back with a signal report. I reply back to them, like, two or three times, and they don't reply. And then somebody replies back with a signal report, a similar call sign. Okay, so we locked that one in. Well, we'll see. Let's get that 7-3. So IK04 says not hearing any K6 LMS stations at all on 20 meters FT8. It could just be me right now. I'm going to reroute some of my wiring too before the live stream tonight. K8 MRD radio stuff. They uh, Doritos tacos are good, but they got nothing, nothing on some California um, Tacos, Mexican, real Mexican food. Oh yeah. Cool. We're we're rolling through pretty good. So daft Minecraft. Hey, did we made a have we made a contact yet? I do, you know, California does have some really good food. Mexican 
food being one of the best. It's so good out here. You can say a lot of things about California. And I've said them. <laughs> but Mexican food is hard to hard to complain about California. K at MRD. I will be live uh, tonight. I'll have my standard show tonight, but um, I want to run for the uh, the L the K six LMS. So that's what we're doing right now. We're having fun. Ah, uh, okay, okay. W eight I G or I J C. Are you calling me? Am I hearing you? See if you drop me a call. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you. Sorry, I haven't been getting you in there. I'm sure we'll talk about it on the podcast, but um, my I'm using my backpacking tent, which is new to me. I just I just bought this tent, and my wife slept with me in the tent last night. <laughs> she was not happy. She was not happy with the tent experience. So we'll we'll be talking about that on the podcast for sure. Keep calling. So daft. So oddly enough, Anthony, um, Anthony Grell, that's a really good, that's a really good, um, in fact, why don't I text Jason? Let me see. Is he, is he live? Can we, maybe we can work a, a queue. Job 357 um, asks where you can get the XPA125. I got it from Ham Radio Outlet. Do they not have it anymore? Are they sold out? You need to yell at no one, Edison. Oh, broken contact. We're at the RR with KC3LIR. Gaming for life. I always, I, I try to always stream at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we are, call it, what is that, three and a half hours from now? I'll be live again. Um, same, same place, uh, but we'll have a different topic. We'll be talking about what I bring out in the field. I think Edison is bummed out that he can't play Minecraft. He's literally out in the boonies, and he's bugging about playing Minecraft. Some, somebody brought their Switch. I think that's what he's upset about. Uh, Ian Mono, great, great question. He asked, what software do you use to sync uh, WSJTX to logs? Or like, what am I doing portable and how do I make it work at home? So I use, I use two things. Uh, there are other options. There are a couple of different ways to do it that all work really well, by the way. I use, obviously, WSJTX. I turn on the UDP port and I use Grid Tracker grid tracker will connect to N3FJP and other logs, and I'm running N3FJP in the background here, which you can see right here, for the contacts that I've made so far. It will, um, it will connect, grid tracker will talk to WSJTX, and then grid tracker will send the log to N3FJP. That's probably not a very refined way of doing it, but it works really well for me, and if it works, I don't really mess with it. 
which is nice because I just run the log in the background and minimize it. And right now it's really just a background for the chat. Ray asks or says, if you're looking for folks not your stream and calling you, KG5FLJ, I see your pile up. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking on I'm looking on the computer for um, strength. Really, those are the ones I'm trying to knock down first. But if that's you, I'll 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 try and grab you. I'm not giving any preference to people that are on the stream. I'm just trying to work as many people as I can. What was it? Uh, KG5. Got it. Okay. We're we're we're, we're aiming for you. N3FJP didn't upload UTC times. Ooh, the wind is actually moving my laptop monitor. Okay, KG5, FLJ, I'm replying to you. Now, um, different question regarding time. I run a piece of software called Dimension 4. You need internet, um, but when you use it, it will adjust the time that matters. Oh, oh. Got it. All right, I see it. All right, so daft Minecraft is calling again. Drop your call sign again. I'm sorry, I forgot. I don't, I can't remember all those call signs. Bill Durkin asked about WSJTX software. Um, what happens? It transmits for like a second and then like USB disconnects, disconnects and freaks out? If that's the case, which is what a lot of people experience, it's possible that you're getting RF back in your shack. This is a nice little setup. My wife found another great place. Bill Durkin, I have the 705. Are you using USB then, Connect? I have found uh, that you need a very good USB cable to make that work successfully. And you may even want to throw a uh, ferrite or toroid on the antenna side of the house. I wonder if I'm going to kill this antenna, actually. I should probably keep an eye on that. <laughs> There's a toroid on the top. Um, so right here is where the toroid is. And by toroid, it's a it's a ballon. Oh yeah, our um, RFI can really wreak havoc with your USB ports. K I J C. I don't see you, man. Keep calling. All right. Justin, I'm actually running the Soda Beams Bandhopper, which is a QRP dipole. But 
it says it will do um, CW. Um, so I'm, I'm pushing it a little bit. But I think it's okay. Gaming for life, uh, the the U.S. So what happens is it's it's not the the receive side, it's the transmit side. If your antenna isn't, if you don't have good isolation from your station, the um, RF can get back into your radio, and then via the USB connection get into the computer and cause havoc with the USB disconnecting. Anthony Gorel, is there asked, is there a brand you recommend for USB cable shielding or something? Is Monster Cable good? Don't buy Monster Cable. The problem is, is that um, micro USBs, which is what the 705 uses, is hit or miss with quality. A lot of them are charge only cables and they're not really good for data cables. You need to find one that will work data. That's the, the difficulty. Okay, cool, Jason replied. Jason says we'll have to wait for the main, uh, the main live stream to try and make contact. Okay, I am. Uh, we're losing, we're losing some of these contacts. We're slowing down. No, no, it, it can handle it. I'm not going down like that. I'm going to pull it up. Edison is getting in trouble. Okay. So, let me... <laughs> let me show you. There's the antenna. Fan hopper 3. What does it say? It says power 125 watts. I'm being nice. I'm only giving it 80 watts. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Uh, boy, Wild Cascadia, if you're, if you're talking micros, I don't. I don't have a recommended brand. I should probably figure it out, though, so that people, so that I can recommend people, because I've been getting a lot of questions asking that. Well, just lost the screen. It's back. KD0Q, looks like we're going to wrap up the queue with you. Okay, so daft. I got it. I know you dropped your call sign. Okay, W8IJC. I got you. Okay, hang on the line. I see it. Calling you back. You got that green cake? Sure. 
So this is a. This a, is Edson's birthday cake that Edson well, made. So this is a Vietnamese green cake. It's made with rice flour. It has a strong coconut flavor, right? You and your brother love that, right? Yeah. Mmm. All right, let's see. I'm calling you, man. Now you're on the spot. Oh man, are you putting full power, 100 watts, into the Wolf River? It uh, it does not like 100 watts. Hmm. Cape Canaveral, let's get you in the log. All right, come on. W8 IJC. Oh, you got. Okay, I got your report. Plus two. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do it, man. We're gonna do it. One of two things is going to happen. This, this antenna is going to burn up or your Wolf River is going to blow up on, on your end. <laughs> I'm keeping a wa an eye on the insulation because it's just an exposed um, toroid that's wrapped up. I'm keeping an eye on the insulation, looking for bubbling or any fun stuff like that. Gotcha. Did it, man. Good work. Hey, Jody, no, it's not. And I don't know why. It... That's a good point. That's a great point, Jody. You know what? I've, I've been playing. I don't generally run uh, WSJTX from here. But you're totally right. I'm doing the RR step, or triple R step, and I don't need to do that. I forget how to change that now. Joe, do you remember how to do it? There's very little rules, by the way, with the um, with the K6 LMS event. It's just for fun. Uh, we're just trying to have fun and uh, get people QSL cards. Yeah, there we go. Why does it do that? Okay, let's find some quick. Let's knock some quick ones out. Got it. Double clicked it. I don't know why that's not standard, but yeah, I, I have that on all the other computers, and of course this one, which by the way, this one I generally am doing like JSA call and, and WinLink and stuff like that on. I haven't really ran WSJTX on this uh, toughbook. I haven't had it long enough. I will say though, We've been live streaming for about an hour, and the uh, tough book is at 81%, which is pretty awesome. What? <laughs> I can't eat on the live stream, and you're bringing me the hugest plate of food. <laughs> you're just tempting me with your... Oh my... What? There's, there's no way this is all for me. There's no way this is all for me. This is you. You can't. This is for everybody Camp else, right? Nachos. You just wanted to show it Camp off. Nachos. Camp nachos. Camp nachos. I got it. I have to like refocus it. Oh my god! Can I get it in focus? It's so big. 
There we go. What? I'm gonna drop some nachos. I'm not gonna drop any nachos. Drop the nachos. I know what I'm doing. I'm a streaming professional. How dare you? You can't eat for real? Well, I don't want to eat. Oh my god, what kind of cheese is this? Nacho. Uh, thank you, but I mean, like, where did it come from? From the stove, in which I... Mm. It was warm earlier. Oh, that's fine. You don't need the nachos? For a single sideband? Uh-huh. Um, do you have your phone? No. No. I was say get on the chat, and then you can like just respond to people in voice. Can you go get your phone? Oh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I know you didn't expect to be talent. I heard that. <laughs> but I really do need to run to the restroom. And then you can ask questions to Leia directly. Um, she will be live on voice, which you can use the questions to uh, talk to her. And that will give me a couple seconds to run to the restroom. Uh, more than a couple seconds, I guess. It's, I'm, I'm very impressed. In fact, I'm going to... I guess I'm not. Wait. There it is. Yeah. I'm live right now. Yeah, Leia's killing it. Yeah? What is wrong with this thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so bad there. I forgot you were watching. <sighs> is Edison over there with... I gotta respond by voice. Right. What is it? It's it. What is it? Okay. Hold on, I want to get a picture of this and I will run to the restroom. Yeah, exactly, Jody. You, you nailed it with the, the comment on the Delta Loop. I need your child. Can you hear me? Uh, can you all hear Leia? Yeah, the Delta Loop is more sensitive of a receiver. I so daft Minecraft. A ham radio in Minecraft. <laughs> Build an antenna Children, farm. Children want to know. Okay, I've got a plus one going on. It'll probably die off for a second. I will be right back. Bye, I will leave you life. with... Nicely. Hey, Pigeon Man. The reception out here is terrible. If somebody were to tune in to... How's everybody doing? It's so... It's, it's warming up out here, so... It's... We've got the two extremes of uh, camping weather, where it's freezing cold at night, but then hot during the day. Hi, Philip. <laughs> That's a goddess of the podcast. That's funny. We gotta, we really gotta tighten them up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you guys are really close, and the day's not even over. I forget how long the um, KA6 LMS event is going until. Do you think you'll get your last two uh, stations, Steve? Yes, I believe. With a touch lamp. You brought a touch lamp? Yeah. <laughs> get out of here with that. Okay, sorry about that. 
ran out when you came over. No, that's why I made the joke that I brought a chuck flap. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> now I get it. All right, let's do some single side then. I say that right as I'm making a contact with somebody. Stream is dropping out. What? They're saying. Okay, now hop off the stream. Oh, We're probably you? okay. Yeah, when we do these, when we do these uh, remote videos, awesome. I did. Did you like it? Very good. I haven't made bell peppers because they're your favorite veggie. I know they're very good. <laughs> You're doing this live, so you get to see all the all the bumps. CQ, CQ, CQ for Kilo Alpha Six Lima Lima Mike Sierra. How about now, am I back? Jeez, and then all of a sudden, it, I guess it caught up with me. I, I cashed in all my, my credit. Well, now I can eat some of my taco while I uh, sit here and wait for somebody to say it's back. <laughs> 